Oh, hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you my top five plants for the month of December. There's some gems here. I just wanna thank you guys for sticking with me through the month. We are more than halfway through Vlogmas. Thank you again for supporting and watching. And yeah, I guess we'll jump into this favorites video. The first plant is the Monstera Burl Marks Flame. Yes, 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 I am in love with this plant. I've tried my very best not to like, <laughs> overdo it with this plant, but today it's all about her okay. There hasn't been much change. I guess the newest leaf that I posted on Instagram recently has finally hardened off completely. And I'm gonna say this again, guys. The leaves on the Burl Marks Flame are extremely thick. Oh, back on camera. Look at her, oh my gosh. Thriving in Lekka. I was a little concerned because I was looking at the rate of, you know, how fast this plant was pushing out leaves and it was around a leaf per month. This leaf came out November 12th, I think. So it's been a month and there isn't a new leaf. A huge reason why I think that's the reason is because she is no longer under grow light. It's now December. There is less sun coming through the south facing window and that's where she lives right now. So I'm thinking that's why She's not doing that much. She's still pretty though. And I kind of want to check. Okay, I haven't checked the roots since I changed the nutrient reservoir, which was like two to three weeks ago. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm getting a towel because again, it's going to be a mess. Okay, look at these. Oh my God. All around. How do we feel? Okay, so we're fine guys. When I feel this over here, there is a new leaf developing. And I think there's a new aerial root, right? Is that a node or an aerial root? I have no idea. Oh, the aerial roots on this side. It's about to come out. Future Kevin zoom in. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's going to be exciting because then as it grows, it could go into the moss pole. I know she's crunchy, but once that root starts growing, I will start to wet the moss pole. I can't wait. Okay. And can we Please, I'm gonna talk about this more in another video this month, but like, I need to show you what this plant looked like when I first got her. Future Kevin put a picture. She was so small and like, she still has those leaves, guys. They're right here, right in the center. And now look at these, the claw and then the supreme claw. I feel like I'm gonna love this plant forever. <laughs> and I just can't wait for each new leaf. Like, oh, I'm so excited, guys. I mean, y'all know that the roots grow into the reservoir. I find in my experience that they're okay with it. When I showed you the roots, I'm gonna keep them that way. Currently in this room, it is 40% humidity and it's been a lot colder in Toronto. So it's been like yesterday in here, it was about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now it's 68. That might be another reason why, you know, she hasn't pushed out a new leaf, but I really think it's because the days are shorter. Again, she's not under a grow light because this plant is kind of pricey. It's less available to a lot of people, but it's such an easy plant. So anyhow, the first plant is the Monstera Burl Marks Flame. Okay, the second plant is an Alocasia. Y'all don't even understand how happy I am that this plant looks the way she looks now. Now, again, them spider mites, they really liked her. <laughs> the second plant is the Alocasia Golden Bone. I cut her back and this was after, you know, I treated with a beneficial bug. And this bug is recommended for really bad infestations of spider mites just because this bug is a natural predator to spider mites. One of my older plants that I still have. <sighs> Guys. Okay, this one looks good. I don't know why she's facing down. Oh, she's pushing on a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Look at these leaves. I can't take it. So I know she only has a few leaves, guys, but again, I had to cut off all the leaves. And so seeing this, it's just so wonderful. And I mean, I did show this plant a few weeks ago and y'all saw the roots were all gone. Well, like not all gone, but she was pushing out new roots. So I wasn't worried. So yeah, guys. I mean, you can see all the stumps over here. Would you call them stumps? But yeah, I really cut her back and she just like, pushed out all these little cuties. Are you kidding? Okay, also when the sun is out and you have a new leaf and you go like this, like it's really sparkly. I think I have a clip. This was from a while ago, but like, 
I just want to showcase the sparkle. This alocasia is everything. I you know she's been MIA. She kind of looked really leggy and I was already planning to cut her back. And to all my European viewers, because when I was showing this plant so much, a lot of people were messaging me, specifically in Europe, that really wanted this plant, but it wasn't available to them. Has it become available now? And if y'all watched my hot take video, there was an opinion that was saying that plants in LECA or semi-hydro tend to decline after a year. Can someone tell me where that came from? Because in my opinion, that's not true. I'm pretty sure this alocasia has been in this bucket for almost, in probably is two years. Do I have a picture from two years ago when she's in this bucket? I think I do. She's been the same LECA, even if there's root death like in this plant, just as long as your plant's able to push out new roots from either existing old roots. Because even if you have root death, if it's not the whole entire root, there can be potential branching above. And also with alocasias, just as long as there's no like stem rot, for example, alocasias have the ability to push out brand new roots from like the stalk or the stem. But okay, the second plant is the alocasia golden bone. Okay, I've waited so long to showcase this plant in a favorites video. Oh, you know, this is probably going to be one of my favorite anthuriums. And I know she's been around for like years, but I only got mine in August. <laughs> the third plant is the anthurium forgetii. Man, Okay, I got this plant in August and Lauren from North Shore Tropicals, thank you again for sending me this plant. The moment I saw this one, because forgetty eyes can look different from one another. And I don't know, I really like the appearance of this one. So yeah, she pushed out a new leaf. Future Kevin put a clip of like what she looked like when I first got her. And yeah, I transferred her into Pawn just because I have so much success with my anthuriums in Pawn. And yeah, oh my God, I'm like looking at her. She's so cute. I can't. Okay, let me just grab her. <sighs> she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at you, you're on camera. Oh my God. <laughs> she is so adorable. Look at this new leaf. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with like how it looks. I think because the veining doesn't connect and she's kind of just like a spider. I don't know. That's what I see. Wow. I can't. I can't. So here she is. You know, I always thought like the lack of the sinus was so cute and how like they're just round on top like how adorable uh, and again i'm really curious to see how this will develop and i mean how big the leaves will get and so this is the one was this one actually this is also new leaf i think ever since i unboxed her oh my god for some reason i thought she only pushed out this leaf so when i got her this was the newest leaf and I was like, this looks insane. I don't know, the veining. Then she pushed out this one. Oh my God, look at that silver. And then, okay, also this middle part. Look how it's like silvery and like, what are we, what? The oldest leaf is going. Um, I always keep my yellowing leaves just because you don't have to get rid of them, guys. I mean, you can if you want, but this leaf is still useful for the plant. So like, keep them on. I think I'm gonna have to move this to a bigger pot. I really don't wanna go the moss route, but you can see adventitious roots. I'm gonna have to put it in one of those big pots because this is insane. So this Anthurium forgetii lives in my living room still. My living room. And this plant is against my west facing window. This leaf is actually touching the window. I don't know. She really likes the light, I guess. The humidity in my living room is consistently 30% during the winter time. And she came out just fine. It's also colder than in here um, on average. I'm obsessed. I don't know. It's the roundness. Like how cute. You look so good. Are you kidding me? Okay. So, you know, when I got this plant, it was in one pot and I was looking at it. I'm like, these leaves look different. And actually there were two different kinds of forgetty eye in the pot. The other one doesn't look that great. And the reason is she was pushing out a new leaf. I think I might have dropped something on her or like touched the leaf by accident because that one, this sounds so bad. That one is like behind my kitchen garbage. <laughs> um, Anyhow, she's pushing out that new leaf and she's pushing out a flower. So she's basically, you know, sacrificed the majority of her leaves. So she only has two. I guess I'll grab her. Guys, it looks so funny. Okay, so <laughs> this is the second one. So yeah, this is the damage here. I don't know what happened, but do you see how the veining is different? Like this one's all connected. This one looks more like a turtle shell. But again, guys, he's pushing out an inflow. I said I was gonna experiment with pollination with anthurium. So I mean, a lot of my anthuriums are pushing or pushing out inflows. And so I just wanna see. I said in a plant tour video that, you know, it's better that it's this one that's pushing the inflow because the other one, I just wanna see 
its foliage grow. So what do y'all think? I personally think this anthurium is underrated and I don't even know why. Like, I don't know why I didn't get one before. I think because I thought, you know, maybe I thought this anthurium was just gonna be available just all the time because it was becoming more common. So every time there was another plant that was more common that like that I saw, I would favor that one over this one. And it was funny because when I was talking to Lauren from North Shore Tropical, she was like, wait, you don't have a forgetty <laughs> I forgot what exactly she said, but now I do because of her. Oh my God, thank you again. It's so cute. Oh my God, I can't. It looks so good on camera. You're so photogenic. So you might see me repot her into a bigger pot. I just really want to cover the adventitious roots. I don't want to use moss. I've actually got a lot of criticism about putting moss at the base of my ethereums. Like I saw that method like earlier on, but I'm starting to realize that people don't really do that. Is that still a thing guys? Cause how do you keep those adventitious roots like wet or like how do you build a big root system for your anthurium? The third plant is the anthurium forgettii. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll put you back. Okay. The fourth plant is another anthurium. Y'all saw this plant recently if you watched my plant tour video, but I'm going to show her again because I didn't realize what when I look back at pictures, it is insane how much this anthurium has grown and it's a very easy anthurium. I don't know why more people don't have this anthurium. Did I even say which plant? Okay. Okay. If I didn't say what the fourth plot is, it is the anthurium vicii. I don't know guys. There's something about the abs on this anthurium. I think this is just the regular form vicii. I bought it as just a vicii. Like I didn't say it was a narrow form. The leaves are getting pretty long though. I don't know if this is just like the standard look of it, but I repotted her into a bigger pot. She's perked up quite a bit. Oh, and I'm so excited guys. Another anthurium where I'm just not going to allow this plant to push out and flow. I'm just going to cut them them off when I see them because I really like the foliage on this anthurium. <sighs> Sorry, she looks like longer in this video. Oh my god. She almost looks fake. Are you kidding? What is that horn? Wow. Wow, 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 guys. <sighs> Like these leaves are the same size. This is the leaf before it. This is crazy. Look at these leaves. So how do we feel? Is it because the abs look creepy? Is that why people don't like it? Well, guess what guys? I am here to change y'all's mind. Just like how I did with the philodendron strawberry shake. This plant is gorgeous and you can't deny it. Okay, seriously. Okay, again, this is gonna be in another video in December. So I'll quickly talk about her. I got this plant like a year and a little bit ago. I think it was in August of 2021. And I think she might've had a moment in Lekka, but for the majority of the time she was in Pawn. But here's a picture. I think this was from a year ago. This was probably one of the first leaves that she pushed out, but look how tiny guys. She is so small. Just incredible guys. Okay, let me talk about how resilient she is. This anthurium, before we potted her, she was in a closed system. No drainage, no nothing for a year. And she pushed out these beautiful leaves. So, <laughs> sorry, it's hard to show all of them. Not only was she in a closed system. She's right under my vent. During the summer, she gets pummeled with air conditioning. <laughs> pummeled and then now she's getting pummeled <laughs> i don't know why i like that word when i'm describing like heat or or air pummeled with dry heat and she still looks like this like are you kidding <laughs> okay I'm, a, I'm taking a picture of where she lives and the vent and also there's another anthurium there that's my esmeralda ends. they're fine they're doing just they're doing just fine guys <laughs> this is an example of just being in a closed system so no flushing for an entire year. Again, I wasn't just using water. I was using nutrient solution after nutrient solution after nutrient solution in a closed system and I wasn't flushing. And here we are. <laughs> you know, there's not just one way to grow a plant. There really isn't. Anyhow, I'm just talking a lot again because I just can't get over this leaf. The fourth plant is the Anthurium vicii. Okay. Okay, let's pull her back. Okay, I'm taking another picture because the new leaf is like so close to the vet. Okay, it's not so close, but it's like there. Okay, 
the fifth plant was showcased i think as an honorable mention last month in my november favorites video i i i don't know there's something about the splashing but the fifth plant is the hoya latifolia snow queen so the last time i showed her she had these two i guess more juvenile leaves when you have juvenile leaves sometimes you could see the splashing if the plant is a splashy plant and sometimes you can't at the time I didn't see any splashing and this is a Hoya where I can usually see it in the juvenile leaves. Anyhow, she's under a table. She has a grow light. I don't see her ever. <laughs> and so when I was grabbing plaids, I was like, the splashing continues. So yeah, those two new leaves have grown. They're not quite hardened off, but they're almost there. Okay, but it's like focusing on me. Look at, okay, is the light too bright? Are these leaves just so shiny? I bring it down. Wow, you really can't see the splash, eh? It's because it's not hard, fully hardened off yet. Yeah, y'all can't even see the splash. In person, you can see it a lot better. Am I making things up? No, I can see it. <laughs> she basically looks like this, guys. Like, she's splashy. Look at these leaves, guys. <laughs> I can't get over it. So the splashing continues because I mentioned in that video that, you know, if she doesn't carry the splash, I was just planning to propagate her. There's also a chance that in the newer leaves, because there's two, and I mean, it's hard to tell, but I don't see any splashing. The newer one, though, I do see a little bit. It's not showing on camera. I do see a little bit, guys. You know, just hoping that she would bring more splash. Again, I'll pop in a picture of when she didn't have that much splash. I had to continually chop this plant until I got a growth point that had splash, and then I just preserved it. So, I mean, that's a strategy that I like to do with these these Hoyas. Whoa, oh my God, Snow Queen. I just love it. It's perfect for the season. It's December. We're gonna have a snowstorm tomorrow. I hate that. I love snow, guys, but like, snowstorm, man oh man. I cannot. It's weird how you can't see it. You can see a little bit. Am I just not seeing it? In person, I can see it distinctly. <laughs> I think because like it hasn't darkened like this, it's hard to see the difference. I don't see any roots. So she's living in Lekka and I haven't experienced it with this Hoya. There are some thicker leaved Hoyas. If the roots are sitting in the reservoir for too long, you might see edema or bursting in the leaves. And because I know that I only hit the nutrient solution at the wicks. So I don't go any higher than the net pot. I feel like if this Hoya did grow a root system out of the net pot eventually, I would cut those roots just because I'm seeing that. Well, I saw that with my Hoya Glabra Schlechter, my Hoya Carii. Are y'all obsessed? I got a lot of comments saying that they, like, when I showed this last month, like, people were obsessed. And, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess the fifth plant is the Hoya Latifolia snow queen of course in every favorites video we have an honorable mention i haven't showcased this hoya in a while her newest leaf is everything it is the hoya clemenciorum i don't know which kinds this one is because i know there's different kinds i think it really depends on the region it comes from but she is just stunning i kind of it took me a while to transfer her into, I think she's in Lekka. Yeah, she's in Lekka right now. It took me a while. She didn't have a trellis. So, so she pushed out a tendril with no leaves, um, but now she has a few. So I just want to show you, she lives next to the Snow Queen as well. True Jurassic Park realness. Oh my gosh. Are y'all obsessed? I'm obsessed. Look at that veining. The texture is everything. And I like when the leaves are a bit darker like this. So these leaves at the bottom are the older leaves. You can see that she pushed out this gigantic one that's curled over, but she's like, I think she's bigger than the other ones. Look at the splashing. A leaf right here. They kind of look like bananas. <laughs> and then a set which i was very surprised by because you know down here they're just push pushing single leaves from the node but there's a pair over here and then this beautiful one like super textural and i don't know i don't know it's so pretty it's like soft in a weird way but like when you get to the ridges it's like so bumpy not bumpy oh my god i don't know i don't know what i'm saying i don't know so because she reached the top of the trellis i had to bend the trellis down she's going down here and then she's kind of going back up this way which is generally what i do with all my hoyas usually when you do that too she pushes out new growth from a different node i do see one so this is a node that doesn't have anything right over there so we'll see guys i'm really excited i just want a really can you imagine 
This trellis being full with leaves like this, like that would be everything. Okay, root check. The roots are going into the wick over here. Do you see that? So I guess she's like, okay, with sitting in the nutrient solution and it's happening with the other end too. Do you see guys? This is actually crazy. Oh my God, with the splashing. Okay, so today's honorable, whoa, I can't talk. Today's honorable mention is the Hoya Clemenciorum. Okay guys, I guess that's it. Whoa, oh my God. The last favorites video, I need to sneeze. I don't want to. Oh, is it gone? What was I even saying? The last, <laughs> the last favorites video of the year. Which one of these plants were your favorite? Oh, the forgetty eye. I think it's the forgetty eye or the vichy eye. One of them. If y'all have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. And if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.